Welcome to Darkest Night, a Halloween-themed Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition adventure. It was recorded on the 31st of October 2016, with myself, Sam, aka SD Card, as the Dungeon Master, along with my friends Charlie, Laura, Beth and Daniela, and my sister, Emily. There are some scenes of potentially graphic description and a small amount of swearing. Therefore, viewer slash listener discretion is advised. So we are having lunch. That's fun. They have defeated a ghoul. They have gone up a level. You have gained new powers. Charlie managed to find a plus one longsword. You found the tracks in the mud and they followed them north. You arrive at an old house, grand by Erin Eden standards, with red brick walls and a slate roof. On the garden path, you spot two slumped figures. Standing over them are two very confused looking So it's in the mice in to see if there's anything in there. So the panther in to see if it's stable and then we'll go in. Inside, the floor slopes away from the door. Decker, Ralph and Tharabol. You, you can see something sat up in the rafters, in, in the beams of the ceiling. Oh, okay. Again, like, the way, like, like, like a big feathery something. Sports. And you can see <laughs> from both okay. places, you can see glowing eyes kind of looking so, at you. Well, so, does anyone have anything to tell me about what they can see? Because if so, there's a bit could cool. I use my dragon breath? No, 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 no. perception, what is it? Perception, that's basically. Yeah, you can and is it like. To see how I use perception see. to find out what it is. That would be investigation, I'd say. Can I investigate? Can I investigate? Investigate. So how, how are you investigating? By poking it. Which one are you investigating? Guys, <laughs> you do realise if you move, we could go straight into initiative. Yeah, you could, if, you, if you do something, you're currently in stealth. If you do something to break that stealth, things go um, bad. Which is why I'm saying just let me use my spot the dragon breath and I'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> right. just, so, can, so, can I be like really reckless and run and just, just comes out? You're just run I'm just going to run blindly towards it. So you're going to run towards the door at the other end of the room. And get attacked. Yes, up uh, there it is. It's going upstairs. So there's no out exterior door. Oh, okay. But there's a door at the other end of the room. Go up. Okay, I'm going to send me pamper upstairs. Okay. Oh god, this is going to go badly. Okay, fine. Actually, no, just use that with your dragon breath. And then I'll send me I want to see what happens when I use my dragon breath. Go on then. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> I stay still. I which one are you fast. attacking? The one in the rafters. Dragon, I, I just mean, yeah, the one in the rafters. One in the rafters. Because okay. I may actually get a clear hit. So, There's a thing what's, the, what's the details for your dragon breath? I don't think I actually wrote them down. I don't, I don't, everything in half. I don't even know where <laughs> it's supposed to be written down. Feats and traits. Not there. First page. Big box. Features and traits. I didn't write it down. You are blue, Probably. aren't you? Yes. I know it's lightning of some sort. Can you stop Depends playing with the dice? Thing. Everybody's going to be using those and you just breathe all over them. Ew! I'm using it now. <laughs> it's not when I have like this. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, smothered yeah. in your hand and you breathe, breathe all over them. And that one's this. mine. So blue is the lightning. Five by thirty feet line. So I need to watch your constitution modifier. My constitution modifier. What? Where's that? I don't have one. Num- plus two. Oh yeah. Minus plus two. Plus two. So you know, seven plus something. Yeah. Sorry, you you caught me off guard. I don't have all the stats. <laughs> I can still don't know how to open your iPad. <laughs> After the new iOS 10. Yeah, I don't, do I don't like the new, I don't like the iOS 10. I don't Horrible. like Apple. What you have to do it, instead of sliding left. You have to, oh, yeah, don't swipe, you have to press the home button. Yeah. And it's really annoying. This is called from Soph. I don't know if it's my... It's, um, so it's, it's nine. Oh, you've told me. Fails. Yeah. Like, Could you please me. roll 2d6 for me? 2d6? I don't know. Two. Two. Four. So, okay. Wait, Sam, can you look at what Song of Rest is? Song of Rest, okay. That's a thing that's just been added on there, isn't it? Okay, so Beth has left, so whilst she's left, we'll look up some other stuff for you. Yeah. So. Also, Bardic Inspiration, like what does it do? So, Bardic Inspiration, it you, people. I'm going to read this. So, you, you can inspire others through stirring words or music. But what does it do? To do so, you use a bonus action on your turn to choose one creature other than yourself within 60 feet of you who can hear you. That creature gains one Bardic Inspiration die, a d6. But what is it? Once within the next 10 minutes, the creature can roll the die and add the number to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw it makes. 
So basically, you know when you roll a d20 to see if you attack something, or you see something or whatever, you mm -hmm. add a d you roll a d6 and add that to it. Okay, so since I'm hiding in the cupboard, I can probably use that on someone. I'm gonna say that fight. because you're um, hiding and you're on stealth, the moment you take out your, your loot and play, you break stealth. They will know where you are. But then I'll go hide again and use what was it? Mash of the wild. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's okay. what we've got. So, Smash, it's mask. You can attempt... Mask of the world. Oh, I know, because you use the mask. You can attempt to hide even when you're only slightly to go with plants, rain, snow, mist, so or other natural phenomena, never mind. Okay, and then whilst we're doing this, can... Is there a plant in the room? No. Can well, I there's moss there the the <laughs> There's moss and things. I hide in the moss. <laughs> I'll dive into the moss. <laughs> Play the loot and go, wait! <laughs> Okay. Just jump out of the cut, burst out the cut, <laughs> da 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 da, <laughs> like dive into the monster. I have finished my backstory, I'm very proud of it. I'll play Carol with my words, so. Uh, yeah, I know, it's a long backstory. Okay, so. I'm trying to think. Right, those, so are, those of you who are here, can you please roll initiative for me? <laughs> How did you do that? Sorry. With what? Roll initiative. Just, um, on side deck. Initiative. On side deck. I got natural 20. Okay, so you're going first. I'm dead. Okay. Nine. Nine. Yeah, Nine. you are technically prone, so. Yeah, it's initiative, so everyone needs to roll initiative because. Seven. Seven, so. I got one. Nine. 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 And then plus one. Ten. So that will be Rav, then what did you get? Nine. Nine plus one. So then it will be um terrible. Then it will be me. me. So that is Davy and D. Wait, wait, who are we attacking? The thing that she just used the breath weapon against. So which you don't know what it is yet. So <laughs> DD and G G G D and DD. And then we have who was next after that? I mean, you had who? I had got one. ten. Did you, get? you got ten. M. Um, then you need to roll as well. Okay. Oh, I'm just I'd like this. You got eighteen. So you are after Rav. So you. Well, are you just top me. That was rude. You're still <laughs> nice, <laughs> nicely positioned with all that. What would we do? Okay. Oh, attacking the thing. Rav, it what is your go in combat. Um, first of all, look, you watch as from the rafters down mm. swoops. A oh, giant okay. vulture-like creature. Well, so it doesn't do any damage to it. Yeah, it's huge. It damage. So it's kind of sparking a little bit, a little bit static because you is just... Is it powerless? Like, just, no. Oh, I'm just, really happy with this. It looks like... It looks like... Um, Feet. It does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then from underneath the table... Oh, there's two things. Uh, a very large, two-headed dog covered in bristling fur. Not Black it's fur, it's eyes glowing red. But dogs don't like cats. I can't work. And I have a son. It doesn't matter, you've drunk too much coffee and sugar. Cats don't like dogs Sir, could I use Ever. animal friendship on them? Friendship! <laughs> <laughs> you will like us! Because it says convince the beast you mean no harm. Which one? The two headed dog. Two headed dog? Sure. Yes! Why Why make the leaf dangerous for two of because it's awesome. How do you know it's least dangerous? Yeah, just yeah. ask <laughs> Yes. So it's um, attack, does it have to be with a weapon? You could, it doesn't well, you have to be. Because um, I have like hammers and stuff, and also I'm quite strong by myself. Okay, improvised weapons, you, you don't get any proficiency or anything with it. Okay, and it would be just a straight D twenty. I, th I think it would be either strength, dexterity, the strength if you're using if you're hitting something, dexterity for throwing something. Okay. Um, and then just your one D four. So one D four. Could I do something like pick something up and throw it? Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. So, Except okay. Laura. Okay. So you want? Wow. What did you want to do? Animal <laughs> friendship. I'm just looking for animal friendship. Okay. Friends. It says here it's casting action one action. Range 30 feet, components V, S, M, the most, in brackets, the most of food. Um, yeah, but you have a spell casting focus, okay. so that takes the place of the material. Duration 24 hours. Okay. okay. Oh, this dogs. spell lets you convince beasts that, it, that you mean no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. 
If the beast's intelligence is four or higher, the spell fails. Otherwise, the beast must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration. If you or one of your companions harms a target, the spell ends. Okay. So no one hit the dog. Okay, there's no point because we're going to kill it anyway. Okay, so... No, she can let it go. Do you okay, so you want to cast this? Yes. Yeah. Mark it off as a spell slot machine? <laughs> yep. Oh, Is it my go? In a minute. <laughs> what do you say to try and placate it? Don't hit the dog. Hey, baby. <laughs> 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 I, I, um, Let me just slide my cucumber inside you. Wave your hands, Sarah. Wave your hands. Snap your staff on the ground. Do this kind of stuff. Do you have a staff? Yes, I do. I have a staff too. Um, um, no, no, I said. Right. Really, I mean, we mean you no harm. Come it takes me to your leader. <laughs> <laughs> it stares at you, I it growls, dribble, it yeah. dribbles, and everything slavish in it, and it barks at you. It doesn't, it, you can't tell whether it was. Is it wisdom higher than four then? Fun. Is it intelligent higher than four? No, it's a monstrosity, not a beast. It's not an animal. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How was I supposed to know? You could have, you could have said checked, you could have seen if you knew what it is. My turn! Yes, it is now. Wait, so do I get it? I just want to do it using my animal talking effects as a monstrosity! Okay, can I use the monster that I got? Sure. Which one are you going to attack? Which one? I'm going to attack the little dog because it was not nice. What is this monster? It did not want to be unfriend. <laughs> You're right next to it already, so it's yes. D20. 9. Plus 4. 13. Plus 1. Uh, 14. And that hits. So D8. That's a D8. You killed your pet. D8. We don't actually know yet because he hasn't hit oh, roll this damage. One. This, this one. Yeah. 8. 8. Do maximum damage. And plus 1 to that, that is 9. Well done. Okay. It's like, we want to do this guy. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, I'm Okay, Thurabolt. Where to? Behind, 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 okay. behind, behind the dragonborn. Thurabolt, it's your guess. Six foot tall, um, six foot nine inches tall. I'm gonna leap out the cupboard and take my loot a few times. Okay, so um, you, you leap out the cupboard. Just, <laughs> you leap out the cupboard. So that's spending half your movement to get up from the cupboard and everything, I'm gonna say. So you get out the cover, spend half your movement, then you're gonna split the Bardic Inspiration on who? What's that? What is that? What is that? Who goes in it? So I'm going to use it on deck as the when she okay. goes. So you get something called an inspiration die. Once within the next 10 minutes, if you roll a d20, um, you get to add another d6 to it. So you roll oh, okay. a d20, you can then choose to roll a d6 and add the result of that to it. And you only can, get one though. Now so. can I jump in the mask and use Mask of the Wild? Uh, okay, so I'm going to okay. say, do, so you've done that, so you mark, mark down somewhere that you've got this inspiration line. <laughs> I'm in the box now. Um, remember to rub it out once you use it though. Um, and then no. I'm going to say, roll, I'm gonna, so you have advantage, don't you, when you're hiding, I'd say. It's a cobweb. Yeah, so just... Yeah. <laughs> with the cobweb. Okay, so the you know. roll 2d20s two, two for stealth and see and take the high one. No. Nine. 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 Plus, plus your stealth. Oh, four. Four. Thirteen. You got thirteen. I'm gonna say yeah. You successfully Yay. hop into the dice and, you know, and hide. You are now hidden beneath the blanket of um, moss. moss. That's <laughs> yes. My go. So the giant vulture creature screeches at you. <laughs> and it's because, <laughs> as you say, it doesn't like cat birds don't like cats. As if the dog cats doesn't like the well, cat. Well, nothing like but each birds other. Don't so like it's cats. gonna attack. I thought it would attack me. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna attack. attack um, what's the face? Who's so, this? Me. You. Does does oh. the cat have its own like? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can hear you trying. So it's a giant it's vulture. Good. It's gonna try and do a flyby sort of thing, and it's gonna do. Interesting. I am quite feet. tall, so how can it fly past me? It's going to move up and it's going to try and... It's a very tall room. So it's going to try and attack you with its talons. Oh dear. And drop on the floor. 12 talons, plus... Uh, 12, <laughs> that hits, I'm assuming then. Uh, <laughs> 12, is that. Then it is 2d4 plus... No. 2d6 plus 2. Uh, 3, 6... Eight, eight death points of damage Ooh. as it tries as it scratches at, your, at the top of your head. Mm. And then, oh, like then it it's going to use. Right. It's going to retreat again. It's going to retreat back over here. Okay, well, Guys, make sure you're not in my way next turn. I'm going to move mid hand. 
Make sure you're not in my way. I'm gonna end me now. Come here, come here. Well, come on, pop out, but you can. You can. <laughs> to move right forwards, right? Watch it. Wait, watch this, way. If it moves in a straight line, oh, you'll be pop out. In a straight line, which it's doing. 5, 10, 15, 20, right? Yeah. No, that, that's 20. It's under. You don't be underneath it, we. Oh, right. uh, that's as close well, as you get. Right. And then it uses its claw attack, right? Yeah. You, you, might, you have to do something, otherwise it kills you. Pounce. Pounce moves at least 20 feet straight towards the creature before hitting it with a claw attack. Okay, Target must done. do a DC 12 strength saving throw, or must be prone. So basically you would knock it to the ground. That's what I've done. So pounce, you're gonna pounce. I'm pounce. Okay, so DC 12 saving throw, so that's strength, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't have any special stuff for that. <laughs> Make sure you're not in my way next time. What are you doing? I'm going to use Thunder Wave. It succeeds. So, Wait, I succeed, you succeed. I succeed. I succeed. So that means I've got a 17. Gaia, um, you, tell, you send Gaia an image in your head to go and attack this vulture. Gaia she runs does. up going, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill the bird. Pounce up near. And then falls on his face. <laughs> 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 The, the, vulture did come, the, the, vul say? the vulture did see it coming and just swooped out the waist. Oh, okay. Vulture, so it's, so it's, not all, it's not Gaia's fault. It could have at least caught a tail. Yeah, it could have at least scratched. It, came, it caught a couple of feathers, but. Yay! You get a souvenir thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of this in my life. you come back? Hang on a minute. I didn't. The death. The, the dog didn't do anything. I didn't get this to do anything. I think I'll back him. I'll leave it. So, yeah, just leave it. And what do you want to do? Oh, can I do the minor illusion thingy and distract them? Okay. Would I distract both of them? Depends on which one it's closer to. Which okay. one well, I'll just do it in the middle of the page. Start reading things. I'm going to do that close, Sam. Oh, okay, so where are you going to make this sound? Uh, yeah. Oh, are you doing the minor illusion? Yeah. What sound, what the sound are you going to make? Um, no. Um, I'm going to make a mating sound. <laughs> what image you can um, Or what image or sound or... Pile of meat. Yeah. yeah bird feet. So, uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> dogs are going for burpee. Yeah, but a dog's eating. But then I'm over tabby Good. cat. I'm going to get a little tabby cat. The meows. Okay. Like a little no. tabby cat. Can I save it? No, you can, but it's not a real cat, you idiot. I want to save it. You can't save my illusion of a cat. Both of them are distracted by this illusion. Yay! Okay. Go, 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 tabby cat. Next person to attack the eagle gets advantage against the eagle. Next person to attack the, the, the dog gets advantage against the dog. Oh, wait, you last. Who's oh, no, so that is your go, Decker, oh, unless you want to move okay. anywhere. No, that's good. No, okay. Um, They're both distracted, it's good. You, I no, get the dog, good. right. You get the dog. Okay, okay. question. Okay. I have okay. two hand axes. Our hand, is a hand axe held in one hand? Yes. Can I use both hand axes to yes. attack? Yes. That is what I'm doing. The dog has two heads, I so have two axes. You're going to do that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we're in a 50. Yeah, you're going to get to know you more. Please don't play this. Please move you forward. It's terrible. Very sure. fun character to play. But I'm playing a character. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you distinguish right. between I your character. I take my and two hand axes yeah. okay, and I attempt to bring them down on the dog's head. So I'm going to say it's heads. one attack. Um, actually, I'm going to say it's two attacks, however. So you have to roll for each one to see if it hits. And I get each one you hit, you duck. For each one you, you hit, you get to roll damage dice. Awesome! So, <laughs> the, the te technically you don't have this ability, but I'm going to say what I'm going to do. Right. So, so this is a death box, and you get any pushy advantage in the house. So, seven. Seven. So, does that mean I take the set? Okay, yeah, I take that, the set. Awesome. So, the right hand one hits. Awesome. Then finish the roll for the left hand. And then. You can just do it, don't they? 15. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So both yeah, arms hit. I hit both of them. Therefore, you get to this hand axe, isn't it? So you get to roll 2d6. 2d6. Ryan, I think. No, it's 2. 2. Two, two and I don't 4. Uh, 6. <laughs> 2 and 4 damage. Do I partially sever one of the heads? Yay! Okay, if you Go try, running. I'm going to say, um, yeah. do a strength um, check. Strength check. So, strength. so roll d20 and then plus 3. Yeah, plus 3. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Oh, no, I'm going to say you 
hit the back what of the net the and digging quite away. You don't have it, have just, it just tears yeah. a chunk out of it. And it starts splitting like that. That's right. That's quite a sound. Wait, I don't understand the thing. I'm going to leave it plus three. Oh, it's because you've got 15 and 15, you don't have a 17. Ability scores dictate the modifiers. Okay, so 10 and 11, you plus zero. 12 and 13 is plus 1, 14 and 15 is plus 2, and then 16 and 17 is plus 3. I'm, I'm incredibly, incredibly strong. Because um, there are certain racial things that... That's bonus. race! So it's like, <laughs> a half orc is really strong, so therefore they get bonuses to strength and stuff. So that, but I didn't want you to choose... I didn't want you to mess a game and choose characters. Design your character based around numbers. I wanted you to go with what you thought yeah. would be cool. The dog is no longer distracted, however, the bird is. Right then, I'm going to move. You're going to move I one move. square. Okay. Move forward another you one. can't use the breath weapon again, by the way. I know. Move forward another one. That's not um, enough. It's so that they kill. Don't touch us. You might want to go another one. No, <laughs> 15 feet. It's fine. Any square spot? I'm going to die. Don't, Emily, read me the spell. Um, it's called Thunder Wave. Okay. It, a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. <laughs> so exactly Each fine. creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed so. save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. So I say if you've got On a tape. successful save, the creature takes half as damage and isn't pushed. Okay, so if you take, um, if you jump on the table right there, you can get both. Okay, and, not and then in addition, unsecured <laughs> oh. objects that are completely within the area of effect automatically push ten feet away from you via spell's effect, and the spell emits a thunder spoon or three hundred feet. Yes, she will. Five, ten, fifteen. No, no, it's five, ten, fifteen. Oh, you can't. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm the one that she's. Okay, I want to use that. So you cast it. Is that a spell slot? Yes. You mark off these things. Each right, creature right. in a fifteen foot cube originating from you must make a fifth a constitution saving throw. What's your spell save DC? It should be at the top of the spell casting sheet. Twelve. Twelve, so that the uh, constitution. Yes. Yep. Uh that fails and yeah. lol. So two D eight thunder damage. Two D eight damage, I'll roll that. Two D eight thunder damage. Six. Um six plus eight. 16. 14. 14, yeah. So they both take 14 points of damage. Okay, so going on to Asuna. Yes. Asuna. You've got five and four. To shout them both if I get in that middle yeah. space, I think it is. No, because that's when you. Actually, no, you could move weapons. I can't. I did. I used both. Actually, no, you couldn't. Dagger's only one target, isn't it? Yeah. But, but I got two daggers. Yeah, but you can only attack one of them. Right, two daggers. Attack them, them both with what it's both one of them. How much health is it? Four and five. Four and five. <laughs> so, the dog, the, so, the, so the dog is kind of staggering around, it's got a big wound in its neck that's splurting. Go Daddy! Broken. I'm guessing some moves and it's have also been kind back. Of it's also kind of statically charged, because it's all its fur is <laughs> <laughs> And then it's, uh, and the bird is kind of flapping again. Beth would like, well, oh, we only have two hours left. Yeah, and I've got my transfer kit. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can I just use my, can I use that, my short sword? And yeah, can you use my short sword? Sure. The, uh, 18, 18 my head. Definitely. And then, which one, by the way? Uh, dog. Dog. Six. So the dog kind of just gets, so the dog gets sliced in half. You can yeah. see bits of blood and chunks and everything. Yeah, it's a fun time. Yeah, it's a fun time. the dog is dead. Because it's not graphic that way. That's not fun. It's Halloween. Well, you're not supposed to use that one. Yes. So, I'm um, sure. <laughs> Yeah, so that is now, that is the dog dead. Um, going on to Therabol, what would you like to do? Laura, the bird is left. Kill the bird. <laughs> I'm going to Shorty. use my long sword and I'm going to like, jump it's out. Happened. I'm really good at jumping. <laughs> yeah, how far are you going to travel? So you can tip the bird. Jump out, so that's... What? You, 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 you can't do that. That's it. There you go. You stood in the fireplace, you can do this. <laughs> On the fireplace would make you taller as a slash of the bird. Perfect. That makes me like four foot. Okay. Go ahead, 11. 11 plus, plus three. three. Yeah. Which one? 14. 14. 14. That hits. Yay! Okay, what's the damage? Roll your aim. What's the aim? Seven. Seven. That's a look. Yes! Yeah. Okay, how would you like to kill this? You say it because I'm Okay, fine. You kind of, you jump up with some athleticism onto the fireplace and leap 
at this um um this thing and the anime crazy anime style like, yeah you kind of watch it do slow motion. Or video game style you kind of just do rapid slices against it you slice off its right wing then its left wing <laughs> and then its head it that's kind of, so cool it floats the floor and a pool of blood like, do we all watch this in slow motion and can have well done dead body and medical and the cat Sure, it does that. It's and the pamphlet is just a bit weird. Yeah, then it just kind of sits in the corner and goes, yeah. Yeah, the pamphlet is there and hold up its head and then it falls out because I'm going to get the bodies, please. We need to go upstairs because I feel like it's upstairs. I was going to say, shh. I was going to say, at this point, you do hear a scream from upstairs. Where is towards the scream? You investigate the bodies. I'm assuming that you can't. Once you look at the bodies. My pamphlet's standing there being. I'm in a hurry. I'm not investigating the bodies. I'm going to go. He's investigating the bodies. As soon as he's investigating the bodies. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, these aren't these aren't on the um, creatures, but nearby them, so around the room. You find who's you? All of us. Or? Me. A plus one light crossbow Takes and it. twenty volts. Yeah, yeah, and a plus one battle axe as well. Why does Charlie? Does anyone want the battle axe? I'll yeah, I'll have the battle axe. Actually, it makes sense. I'm good with the battle axe. Okay, I'm gonna give Daniel the battle axe, and I'm taking both. I am crazy. Yeah, so you get battle axe. Does anyone want the short bow? Oh, I can't I, I use the short bow. No, if I cross that. Do you cross that? No, no, no. Because I don't have any range things except. Have you got arrows? Have you got arrows? That point. Sam, what's my simple weapon? Yeah. You see, you haven't specified what weapons. Me have the simple weapons. Yeah, what's that? So simple weapons. There's a list of simple weapons in the book. Did so you can use. So you can't use long swords, but the light like crossbows you can use. Can if you it? I run up the stairs. Can you use your So you open the so find. Yeah, I open the door. Yeah. Or is it? So oh. just one. So I follow no, down the other upstairs. I'm, 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 I, don't think I think uh, Beth. Boys. I think Deckard has taken the boat. I wanted the boat. No, no. I'm giving. Yeah, he's giving. Okay, so you can I'm giving. Give I'm giving my yes. yes. other boat. Yes. Deckard. Where do I write this? Light like, like, plus one. No, no. The short boat. The short boat. Simple boat. So you can. These are all simple weapons. Or someone wants the long sword. I'll swap the long sword out then. Okay. I'm. I'm going to push the cross. No, because she can't use the long sword. Wait, can't. I'm going to be cruel and say that. I'm only allowing one each person to have one plus one weapon at this point. Okay. So, so, right, we're already doing this. Wait, 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 Darkest Night, a Halloween-themed Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition adventure. I was your DM, Sam, and I was joined at the table by Charlie, Laura, Emily, Beth, and Daniela. The music was The Pyre by Kevin MacLeod of Incompetech.com. If you want to hear more d and adventures, I recommend DSAs for Nerds by Sanspants Radio, High Rollers by The Ogscast, and Dawn Forged Cast. Laura has her own channel too, and I suggest you check it out. All links are in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, or know somebody who would, make sure to share to your heart's content.